Once again, Ngwasana had no choice but to break off the fight. Because Mkele and Kawe were fighting over Naledi's issue. Because Mkele didn't see, you know, Naledi's problem as an emergency. And he felt like, you know, they have to protect the family before they can even go and protect Naledi. But, you know, Kawe didn't see it that way. You know, Kawe, you know, he felt like, you know, Naledi is the love of my life and I want to go all out and I want you guys to be by my side. You know, and Gosana had to break off the fight and he told Kawe to go outside so that, you know, they can see what they can do. And that reminds me what happened on the previous episodes when the two brothers were fighting when Mkele wanted to kill Kawe after he found out that Kawe has been sleeping with Trom. And the only way Nkosana can break off that fight is by sending Kawe away. And again, on season 3, we see him sending Kawe away. And Kawe decided to go to Rastenbeck. Before he went to Rastenbeck, he decided to go to Naledi's house so that he can go and see if he can find any evidence or any clue, you know, that can lead him somewhere so that he will know where, you know, Naledi has been taken. Or maybe the history about Naledi or something about Naledi because he doesn't know anybody from Naledi's family. And the last thing Naledi told him is that she do have secrets and when he find out about those secrets, he is not going to be happy. You know, and he went to the house, he find out that, you know, the place was still fine. There was no break-ins, there was nothing. But while he was sitting down there, he realized that there was a laptop on her bed. When he opened the laptop, that's when he find out that she is in Rustenburg. And he decided to take a trip to go to Rustenburg and go and see if he can rescue, you know, his woman. And when he arrived there, he found out that the security was very, very tight. You know, there were brothers who were heavily armed and they were making sure that, you know, there won't be any break-in into that house. And we have seen him trying, you know, to take out about two guys. But on the third one, that's when they caught up. The other three guys, you know, they showed up and he's, he was overpowered. Now, we don't know what happened to him yet because they showed us Naledi in her room. She is safe. She is looked after because even that room, man, it's, it shows that where she is, it's a house of a rich man. And the same man who kidnapped her, we, we have seen him, you know, just killing the other guy, you know, like he is nothing. You know, the guy is under this group called Zamazama. We all know Zamazamas in, in South Africa. And we all know the recent story of the Zamazamas, what, you know, they are um, doing that side of Rustenberg. It's another story which is currently trending in South Africa where, you know, there were ladies who were raped when they were busy doing a music video. So when they bring that up, you know, it, it resonates with us as South Africans because we know that we are dealing with that a lot. There is these Zamazamas who just go to you know, this mine and, and try to do what they can also to survive because we have to be, also we have to look at it the other way around that these guys mostly they go to minings which are um, closed and they go there and see if they can get something so that they can buy food for their children. Also, you know, they're doing that to survive simply because of, you know, in South Africa we know that, you know, unemployment is very, very high. So, when they are just doing that and they're not robbing people, they're not raping people, they're not killing people. It's something which has been around South Africa for many years, you know. And when they bring that, you know, to this TV show, that means, you know, they're taking it deep into, you know, minings and, you know, to this other level that we never, you know, see most TV shows, you know, diving deep into. You know, they just speak a bit about it, but I think, you know, the wife will go deep into it whereby we will learn more about the whole thing how they process everything maybe we will also see how they are selling you know the minerals that they get there diamonds or gold how they they sell it and how you know all these guys are corrupt maybe they will go deep into that and i loved that you know about you know this tv show and we saw that in the meantime when kawa was trying to rescue naledi Ngosana told nziga to call mkotwi and so that they will also know that, you know, the police might be looking for them 
since you know the article will be published the following day and he couldn't find Ngoba but that's when he got in touch with Mkotu and Mkotu was with Sambulu and Mkotu told Mkosana that you know we cannot meet where we normally meet at the you know tax rank simply because of now the police are everywhere let's send you the location where we can meet and we can talk about you know everything and that's when they met at a different space or different spot and we have seen that Mkotu and Sambulu they were driving Toyota Hilux, Lee Hips and Mkotu said something when they were there he said what are we going to do with this car should we ban it and that's when Sambulu said no don't don't ban it so and so will take care of it that means even if Sambulu was not with the Zulu brothers he was still connected with his guys because he can easily tell them to go and get rid of a car so that you know they can be safe you know they just want to make sure that they clean up the mess to make sure that no one really knows that they're the ones who hijacked that car and Nkosana was shocked to see Sambulo because they buried Sambulo and he said Sambulo is that you you know and we just buried and Sambulo was like saying I will explain everything at home you know you just have to know that I'm here I'm alive you know I had to go and hide for a bed so that I can be safe because you know my enemies were all over me and I knew that you know they were going to kill me they were very close that's why he had to go underground and hide you know for a while and that was also a great great scene because that's how they introduced Sambulo back to the Zulu brothers by revealing him to the older brother Ngosana so if Ngosana knows about it it's easy for him to let other Zulu brothers know and while they were busy talking that's when Ngosana told them about the article which is about to be you know published and Sambulo was like saying we don't have time to waste we have to go and deal with all these people who snitched on us we have to go and get rid of these guys because of course when the article is there there will be a court case people has to come and become witnesses and all those type of stuff and they started you know by going to this other old man I can say an old man is living great at the big house and they made him understand who they are you know when they parked their car outside and they said to him get into the car and when he, when he was sitting you know at the back seat that's when they told him that we know who you are we know where you stay we know where you work we know your your family including your children so we can get you if we want you but we want you to understand that we are watching you and don't push us you know and you just have to make sure that you don't testify against us you have to go there and tell that newspaper that whatever you told them it's a lie because if you don't do that we are going to get rid of you you know and you know the gentleman was so afraid because he even peed on himself and Mkotu was like saying look at this guy he just peed on himself you know and it shows the fear that you know people has when it comes to the Zulu brothers they are so afraid of the guys because they know that the guys you know they are not a joke and after that they had to go and find the other guy who is working for this you know cash and trans company and he is the one who also gave them information gave the newspapers information and he was supposed to go to court to testify and they chased him they caught him and they had to speak with him you know and him go three for the first time he was given freedom to beat the guy the way he likes to punish him to make him understand that you know they are not playing and at the end the guy couldn't understand what they were doing he kept on saying i also have a family just like you have a wife you know this and that and you know Kosana didn't take that you know he put the bullet on his head and we have seen how mkotu was celebrating you know because he understood that okay my brother he's a cold killer just like us just like me and sambulo and I'm happy to be part of this because remember because all this time he wanted to be part of you know the family business and they told him that this is what we do and if we have to kill we have to and yeah man episode one was so busy in the meantime at the taxi ring we have seen you know the community gathering they were saying 
you know the Zulu brothers has been doing damage to, to you know to their families you know they kill some other people when they were robbing you know and they decided to go and take the law into their hands they wanted to go and get rid of all the Zulu brothers and while they were going to the tavern that's when Mandisa was also going to the tavern to check if everything is okay and that's when the mob justice found her there you know and they threatened to kill her but she managed you know to escape because when she arrived to the Zulu house and she told them about everything which happened and they wanted to know where is you know Ngoba and Ngoba was nowhere to be found on this episode we didn't see Ngoba and we don't know where he is you know episode one was very very busy and I just want to see episode two because you know Showmax always release three episodes every Thursday and guys this is the wife back with a bang and I'm just super excited you know to speak about it again because I love the TV show man they are showing us things that we're dealing with every day in South Africa and I appreciate you guys showing me love and support thank you